Oh, hello there. Welcome to Deck Rippers. Sadly, um, I have to be the one to tell you this. Um, Lewis has left the EU and um, he's not here. He should be here shortly. <laughs> Jonah, Jonah94 says, just got my bachelor's in chemical engineering. Congrats. Any tips for moving from university into the professional world? Also, do you think Scotland will leave the UK now? Question number one. I hope so. You hope so? Why's that? Because mm. I, I think small government freedom is better. Okay. More great freedom always leads to greater prosperity, Terps. Okay. Freedom, for whom? Freedom is scary. Yeah. Tell okay. me about it. But... You know, there's no, there's no safety net there. We're not sucking at, you know, mummy's teat of, you know, of well, the I, EU. I happen to enjoy teats. We have to branch out on our own. And I think okay. just like, you know, we should let Cornwall go free. Cornwall should just go then free. Then what are we going to do about our pasties? Uh, you know, Norfolk. They can go free. Well, they got Norfolk in chance, I'll tell you now. Okay, the title is now Political Expert Lewis and Wedding Planner Terps Don't Play Hearthstone. Great. Top bants there. History shows. Swap stories. Freedom. It always leads to greater wealth and prosperity. For really? Yeah. Really? Freedom. Well, freedom isn't free. And fuck, you're goddamn it right. Takes, it takes folks like you and me. Exactly. Um, Can you even say Brexit yet? Brexit. Yeah, you still can't. Brexit, I said it then, that's, that's right. Mm. Brexit. Mm. I'm saying it properly. Oh, you prick. Not. It is. I'm completely right and you're wrong. You're the wrong one. We What's would that? like to honeymoon in your country, though. Should I buy my pounds now or wait for your economy to tank more? That's harsh, isn't it? <laughs> That's Hang really on a harsh. second. Our economy hasn't really tanked that bad. He says. Oh, you saw I was about to enable that! It was definitely, like, a step down. But really, like, if anything... I'm not going to talk about politics. Sorry. I'm not going to just... not going to do it. Why not? You're not going to bait me. I'm not going to talk about it. You love politics. God, I, no, I don't really. There's, there's two do. things you shouldn't talk about. Politics and, and children. And children. So maybe, I, maybe I will. <laughs> Maximilian Sanders says, lowest pound in 30 plus years, best economy. <laughs> Lewis is so full of shit. <laughs> Perfect. It's not the same. It's not the same, exactly. Causality does not equal um, ca causality. Keep up the work, guys, even though Lewis is a filthy, racist, xenophobic Brexit voter. Sarcasm. Love you guys. <laughs> uh, That's a good point, though. You are a filthy, racist, someone xenophobic Brexit voter. Someone has to, like, voter. you know, be a contrarian to you guys' traditional brainwashed... Tell me about it. ...corporate, fucking, toff-loving David Cameron... Hey! ...fucking... Don't you bring David into this! politics. How dare you! How dare? How dare you? How, I have your sense. How, how dare you? He didn't need a plan. He was going to win. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck. Uh, Voice of the people donated four dollars. All in favour of a vote of no confidence in Lewis Brinley, say aye. I'll wait for chat. Then we'll see. We'll see how many eyes we get, and I hope the eyes have it. Uh, Vendos. Next thing that will happen is that Lewis will be voting UKIP because he really admires Farage being a man of the people. I'll tell you now, I'll tell you. Fucking hell. When, You're getting when, close. You're getting close to, on. like, reality here. <laughs> Just going to be me sit there with my pint. Yeah, here, 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 here. You tell him, Lewis. <laughs> when hard-working British industry is suffering, it's because of, 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 of people. It's, well, the thing is... I was talking to Sips with PFLAX about this mm. earlier on Triforce. Um, but that's going to come out another time. You shouldn't, you shouldn't blow your load now. We said we weren't going to talk about any, any Brexit stuff on Triforce, actually. Okay. I don't know. As you get older, you definitely talk more about politics, I think. Because, I don't know, the average age of a politician will say, like, 50. Kazai31 says, Lewis, in a previous podcast, I seem to remember you saying you weren't originally for Brexit until a particular taxi ride. What was it that changed your mind? Did he give you ticket? Free was it? Free journey. He said, "Tell you what, vote for Brexit, and I'll um, I'll let you have this ride Pandemic's free." Pandemic's good. I enjoyed Dead was it Winter. A fake taxi they ride. Were good. You're right. Dead of Winter. Have you played Dead of Water Winter? No. It wasn't a fake taxi. No, it was a real taxi. Okay. I, well, you know, Sad, taxi drivers very convincing. They know they a are. lot. Oh my! I've got all sorts of people They're in the back like, of my car. I had one guy. Okay, he's from the EU. Tell you no lie, he's over here claiming benefits just to go, and then he's having operation on the NHS. Clogging up the list. And you know what? He, he, then he's fucking back off anyway, isn't he? Bah! That's taxi drivers. I'm not that kind of, I don't, I'm not that kind of guy at all. I, I don't. 
I don't. <laughs> I don't think you're the guy driving the taxi. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I'm not angry about people on benefits. No, or exactly. Angry about people that who, what, who what don't you, have anything. Why would I be angry about people who no, are miserable, exactly. so poor, and having to struggle to find work? You're angry about who are you angry about? About the one percent who are incredibly <sighs> fucking milk greedy. Fuck you, one percent milk. Horrible. Yeah, one percent milk. God damn it. Uh, so no, I, you know what it's like. Taxi drivers are like the modern day sages, right? Of our time, <laughs> you used to have yeah. to go up onto a mountain to yeah. consult an oracle who yeah. knows everything. Now or you a really can, old you man. can get them on an Uber. Bam. Now, every they come to you. Honestly, they are just fountains of wisdom. You know, any question, they are knowledgeable about it. You know, when they did like, didn't they do like this TV show back in the day when they put like different careers up against each other, and it was like they had like, you know. Uh, airplane pilots, like pilots, and then policemen and firemen and tax drivers. The tax drivers are just a bunch of fat blokes, and they fucking knew everything. They, well, won they the just whole sit thing. there reading their paper, looking what's in the Daily Mail today. What's that? Oh, I've got the sun there as well. Well, hello. All right. All right. <laughs> hello. Uh, and, you know, I didn't know the I didn't know, the, I didn't know pastry was sideways. Well, for well, yeah, because they're that big. Well, wow. fuck you know. me. Tell you now, mate. Wow. That'd be five pound. <laughs> Uh, right. um, so sorry. So what was it? What was it that changed your mind? What did the taxi man say? It was a com. No, it wasn't the taxi driver, by the way, at all, who convinced me to change my mind. That at all. I uh, I can't even remember this taxi ride, or even the podcast where I said this. Okay. Or even it was implied. Uh... Killer Dragon says. So since Shadow of Israel is never ever going to happen again, how would it have ended? I might as well try to find out. Also, Lewis, uh, since Lewis is an expert on politics, who should I vote for in the Australian elections? Do you have uh, an independence party? Oh my god. The odds. Led by Oz someone as, as attractive and charismatic as who someone said earlier. Sir Nigel Farage! Sir Nigel. <laughs> Defender of the realm and faith. <laughs> I drink to that. Bloody hell, I tell you. Honestly. I, I was in here 16 years ago saying I'd leave. We're leaving. You laughed at me. You're not. You're not laughing Did now. Did you watch that on yeah. the European? Yeah, of course I, I fucking watched it. It's such a cringe. It was just. It, oh, nice. It's like going in front of a whole crowd of people. Would just. I mean, you've got to have some balls. I told you. I told you. Your nan would die, and she's dead today. You're not laughing now. <laughs> it was so bizarre watching him slag off the whole European Parliament. I saw because it, it was trending You're on YouTube. Bigots. Or something, I don't know who it? you are. I don't know who you are. I'm like, that's your job, mate. You should know who they, they are. They were like, it was almost like I the don't House need to of know. Commons, though, You're meant you know? to. It was so, like, such a bunch of kids, kids like, bro, bro, come on. I liked it. Junkit Just, got in and said, yeah, guys, come on. Let's let's not be like you, Kip. Now, let's not stoop to their level, please. Don't don't. I think don't a lot of back. them want to leave too. Oh, of course they do. I think it's full of people yeah. who want to leave. Of course they do, Lewis. And they're looking forward to this. They can't wait. Up the they're looking forward to the rest of them are going to be like, well, we have to punish the Brits, okay? Because we need to show that once you're in, you're not leaving. They're the mob. It's the mafia. We're part of this protection racket. And now we're saying, look, guys. Hey, family. I'm sorry, but my people have voted. I gotta go. And they're like saying, yeah, you've always been welcome to leave, you know that. But uh, it's not up to you to decide how. I don't know the time for you. Vendos. Lewis basically saying, don't listen to experts. Didn't listen to them <laughs> when they said don't leave the EU. It depends what experts you listen well, the to. Thing is David Cameron ba, 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 fucked ba, ba, me hard. Hi. Uh, just tuned That's in. That's the guy's name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Uh... Just can't wait for my weekly dose of Terps shouting and drinking excessively Thank and Lewis you. saying something controversial then spending the rest of the stream backpedalling. <laughs> I'm not a racist or a bigot. <laughs> I, I never made that promise. I never would. Uh, you know, I, I, I agree that the money should be spent on the NHS, but he sadly get to say I was that. excluded, I love from, how that's the big thing I was excluded well. from the decision. He's nothing to do with it, is he? He is absolutely nothing to do oh, with it. Oh no. Well played. Well Terps. played. Well played. Uh, that makes Three me one. feel less bad. For whooping me. To make you feel less bad for voting us into oblivion! Hello. It's my fault, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we'll we see go. You in Come back to me in 20 I years. I will, exactly, and say, you know what, Lewis? After the war, it is a lot better, you're right. <laughs> Good job. Have you started playing Dota again? And if not, have how have you resisted? I'm trying to stop playing League as it makes me rage, and it's pretty hard. Also, what do you guys think of Leafy? I think he's a massive charity. I think he is a massive charity as well, personally. I don't really know. I couldn't care less about him. Give, Bam. Give, give no fucks about any of these cunts. 
What then? Charities. Charities, sorry. Um, uh, how, how have you stayed away from Dota? What's your oh, secret? Oh, easy. When I realised it was just AIDS, giving me AIDS. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's when I stopped. No, wh why not? Why not? Yeah. It was, it was awful. I mean, my life is so much better without it. Uh, Preach it. Preach it, brother. Uh, we're allowed to say whatever we want on the stream, Terps. Yeah, we are, actually. That's what gets us in so much trouble. Uh, hey, Dad. How you doing? Just wondering if you could tell me your favourite sexual position and if Scotland should leave the UK. If well, Scotland left, would you still come here for events? I still have to meet Papa Lewis. Yeah, I'd still go to Scotland. Of course I would. I no, care. I wouldn't. I'd make a stand. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, you can't cherry pick. Okay? You can't. You either, you either take the England and get us, <laughs> or you fuck off and have nothing. You either have the EU or you have England. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, you should you should totally leave and look after yourselves. You deserve it. You're good enough. You've got smart people up there. You're fucking freedom. Freedom. Fucking Braveheart, do it. Why? Why would I like? I like you guys. I don't. I don't. I, want, I don't want you to like. Kind of. I don't want you guys to be run by Cameron all those or assholes. Why? Why on earth would I want that? I want you guys to govern yourselves and be free. I'm not attached to you greedily. Like I don't want to keep hold of Scotland like some sort of vestige of empire. I'm not like some sort of colonial asshole being like, yeah, let's keep let's keep all those suckers under our thumb. What the fuck? I don't want to do that. Uh, Angela, oh David, my trat is tingling. Why are your nails so green? David, because I butt munch lettuce. Angela, why did you let the pop of people vote leave? David, because there are secret Cubans in my trousers plotting against me. What is this message? I just read whatever's there. I don't know. Google who is Adolf Hitler's daughter. Kiss, 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 kiss. Who is Adolf Hitler's daughter? I don't know if I... I don't think she had. They have very many family. Did he? Did he have a daughter? I don't think I don't he think had. Think so. We surely know about it. Oh, well played, Terps. That's just one of the game. I don't know if it has or not. I'm going to Google it right now. I feel like it has. I feel like it's one of the game, Terps. I feel like you've done it. Who is? You did it, Terps. Congrats. Dolph. You won it. It's over. Uh. What, Angela Merkel? What? <laughs> oh, no. That's bullshit. Don't say that. That's mean. That is mean. That is a horrible conspiracy. Lynn donates $10, says, I vote for Hat Films to leave the Yorks cast. Freedom! Don't make me sad. Sky donates $3, says, Don't feel bad about what you voted, Lewis. It's not your fault that countless relationships and families are going to get violently ripped apart. Also, say hi to Tutron for me if you see him, if he hasn't already been sent back already. He's part of the e e economic... Uh, uh, Norway isn't part of it's the, the e EU, it's but the they, EA. Pay, they pay an ex extra yeah. thing to be part of like a related thing. Uh, oh. Yeah, I don't think that's true. And go fuck yourself, <laughs> cunt. <laughs> Next... <laughs> Other than that, I think that went really well. <laughs> mm. Boom. Oh. That's good. <laughs> a little bit of PR from there. That's good. Steve there just saying a lovely <clears> bit <throat> of PR there by Lewis. Um. <laughs> what is it? What's in your, what's in your tea? <laughs> <laughs> uh. No, it's, I don't know. It's a funny day today. It is, isn't it? Lynn donates five dollars. I like how Lewis is against the EU, but still owns a company, which is a group of channels who help support each other. It's kind of ironic in my head. Freedom isn't free. Yeah, but everyone who's here Except is their own company. when it relates to me. That's the thing, right? Everyone yeah. is their own... Everyone's their own sovereign nation. I didn't... But they are I, governed yeah. by the rules of the EU. I'm the... That makes me like the EU chairman. Do they follow the rules? Do no. we have any rules? We've got loads of rules, but no one follows them. One of them is don't drink on stream. Yeah, junk, Junker. That's you know the one. Don't drink on stream. Don't call fans twats. Don't, don't drink on stream <laughs> is one of them. Don't eat on stream, which I think, well, you can fuck right off then. Uh, the Anonymous says, Peeps, don't you think it's a bit unfair to unload your soul on Lewis just because you can reach him? I think he's got enough sh if you want to be angry at a Brit, use Cameron or Farage. Love oh from goodness. Germany, still love the UK. I'm not actually that worried about it. I'm it's not just, worried about it. It's, you it's interesting how, like. 
everyone's gonna. It's, it's. I think moving forward, right? Everyone is gonna blame this on. A I lot blame of you. I blame you. People are gonna blame blame a lot of stuff that happens in future in Brexit. Like everything is gonna be Brexit's fault, right? Oh, I can't sustain an erection for more than two minutes. <laughs> Fucking Brexit. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm talking yeah. about. I already did it the other day. I was up at 4.30 in the morning and I was like, fucking Brexit. Gig Tycoon says, Lewis, don't let mean donators get you down. I hope you have a good thing going on in your life in a happy uh, less than three. I do. Um, Sneaky Smeasted donates, wow, big one, $12.34. He says, who knew that Brexit would lead so many people working in the salt mines of the leave camp? Uh, would lead to so many people working in the salt mines. Sorry, <laughs> you Brits are settled for sure. So there you go, it's a good point. And Lynn donates again, saying, if I'm not mistaken, the channels in the Yogscast pay a bit of their revenue to the company. This money goes to, for example, equipment, which benefits all the channels. You can definitely draw parallels between the EU and the Yogscast. I believe you are correct. Or you could draw a parallel between the UK and the Yogscast. How about the UK has a government where everyone pays a thing called tax, which goes towards things like roads and things that everyone shares. What makes you Take your logic and fuck off, uh, you prick! I think you're... Your example, <laughs> unfortunately, as always, very broad, is very broad. the wrong way around. Now, thank you, though, for letting me know. Tom Norman donates the EU Hooray! is more like Maker Studios Hooray! than the Yogscast. Silly lefties. Hooray! Oh, you wanted to Something that? that you'd never see. Holy shit! Lynn donated a hundred dollars. Why? Says, I'm against the EU as it is now as well. I'm from Denmark and not trying to start a fight. I love you guys and have Breakfast. been a fan for a long time. Thanks for everything. Thank you, Lynn. Yeah. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. What Pop a, psychologist what says, Hey, Lulu, do you think growing up with parents that are quite a bit older than the parents of other people in your age group have given you values that differ from the ones of your peers? E.g., why do you vote like an old person? Well, this is it. <laughs> I feel like I'm obviously the only person in the office who... Voted leave. I voted leave in a very admitted to in a very admitted, admitted to. I don't to. know Actually, for that for that sort of percentage. But I think it's I've secret admitted Tories. to it on here because you asked me about it and I was a bit drunk and I was like, sure, I'll talk about it. And then yeah. I, I feel like it's oh, distanced God, me made a huge from mistake. our audience in a way. Yeah, definitely. It feels like it feels like I'm like up against it now and like people are a little bit angry. Well, about and that's me the only thing you're worried about, me. not the well, not the economy other people, crashing like, and Barry and that. Well, listen, I think that that's an inevitable outcome. I think that you can't say that, right? If if, if we stayed in the EU and things went to shit, you know, are all the people who vote Remain going to be to blame? Like, yeah. Like in the same way that like, you can't like we've had loads of like stuff happening over the past. 30 years, you know, that's not because we stayed in the EU, you know, like, I don't know. Sadly. It's, it's, I don't know, I feel like, I feel like I obviously, um, I voted differently to everyone here. I, I certainly think, like, when I, when I came in, like, and certain people were very angry about it, and I know that certain people in the audience right now are pretty angry, and they're like, oh, you know, pointing at me. But I think you should be angry about the people who... Lied to us. Who, I think Boris Johnson. People who didn't Michael vote, Gove. or didn't, didn't come to a, like, you know, Conclusion Nigel that Farage. Was, was strong. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I feel. Like I think that the problem is, is you have to admit that a huge swathe of people voted on misinformation, lies, and just but on both sides, though. That's well, but it was on. But the other side won. So my argument stands. Right. So I think personally, I've come the full gambit of emotion. I came into this week and I was laughing about it. Just how incredulously ridiculous the whole scenario was. I just thought it's hilarious. And then today, with 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 Boris Johnson saying, uh, "Well, um, yeah, I've started a fire. I don't want to fight, so uh, I'm out." <laughs> I was like, "You mother." <laughs> what do you mean? You, it's, so he, it's fine. No, it, you can't lead a campaign to take someone out and then say, oh, now now you've actually got to follow through on it. Oh, fuck. Well, nah. Well, I'm I good, actually. I don't want Boris running the country anyway. Look, I don't think... But it's neither I, here look, nor look, there. Look, look, if, it, it's like... It, it's sad, sad fact is, is that, you know... We get under, ended up getting lumbered with some real hopeless people in charge. And, oh, we've got terrible politicians. But there's great, smart, brilliant people out there. Who, Hopefully they're all civil servants and they can sort them out. I mean, I don't... I just... Hmm... I feel I feel worse for America, honestly. What between Trump and uh, Shillery? Yeah. yeah, it's tough, isn't it? Because like I, mean, I don't want to vote for a criminal, between those but two? don't want to vote for Trump either. The thing <laughs> is, <laughs> mm. <laughs> I think it was very much the same way in this election, though. You know, people were like, I don't want to vote for Cameron, but I don't want to vote for Farage or Boris. Like, you know, it felt like we didn't really have 
you know, I think often Old you're band. picking between the lesser of two evils, aren't you? And, and maybe, and, and the more disillusioned people get with the political system, the more problematic everything becomes. Well, I think I'm still pissed off because of old Sanders. You know, I would have loved to see Grandad Sanders. Where the fuck? Where Graham the fuck, Sanders? Sanders? Sanders was talking about he wanted to have more transparency in Parliament. Uh, sorry, in, in government and stuff like that. He never fucking told us what his 11 secret herbs and spices were. Really? Fuck you, Sanders. Screw you, fuck Sanders. Fuck you. Fuck you and your secret spices. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Dan of Latchford says, I'm not happy that Lewis won. I want to you to keep playing the best of fives until Terps wins. See, it's funny because of the petition for a revote. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, Jesus. Ironically, it was started by Lewis before the result came in, but we're going to use it. That's what happened with the uh, majority revote. It was started by a, a lever. Uh, before the results because he was just so sure that we weren't going to leave and then got all upset because it had like three million signatures on this petition for a new vote to take place but with a majority of the electorate to have to vote for it i'm not sure that's how the that no, no, the no, referendum but, works no 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 but that's what you he was saying like, hang on a second <laughs> but that's what i like and he came out saying you can't you can't use my petition you remain <laughs> that's for no that's for if we lost <laughs> I mean, what was the what was the margin on when Scotland voted to stay? Was it fifty five, forty five? Yeah, mm. it was. Yeah, it was a fairly similar sort it was of thing. Yeah, tight. Yeah, too. a lot of people wanted to leave. Lord Franzi, as an anti federalist American, I love the idea of leave because the government closest to the people is both more efficient and better represents her people. Britain shouldn't be making laws for Spain and vice versa. Well, actually. We cause a lot of trouble in Spain. We should have some say in how our the people are kind of falls mainly. mainly on the plains. Because that's a problem. It's an economical. It is. And where does rain come from? Here. That's right. We export it. We make a lot of our economy runs off of it. That's what it is. If you start moving around our rain. Do you want to install um, Red Alert? Should we try and figure this out? That sounds crazy. Lord of Harold says, I'm not mad at you, Lewis, but as far as I know, based on what you said, you watched a bias documentary, did no research over the bias documentary or the organization who were backing it and decided to vote solely based on that documentary. That's not that's Just not, saying. That's not why it's Just happened. saying. Just saying. I'm just saying, brother. Thank you for watching Bam. Deck Rippers, everyone. I hope it was okay. Kaf's we got on next. Kaf is on next, so stay tuned. Don't go anywhere, because Kaf is going to be here with more of the same in terms of high-quality entertainment. Uh, from members of the Yogscast. We'll be back after these short messages from our sponsors. Steve, press the fucking ad button. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Bye -bye. <laughs> really, is that what we're doing? Pressing the ad button.